The first family I spoke with was Steve Weissert's family. He was the oldest of the eight victims, just 74 years old and just about a month away from retiring. Now, I spoke with his wife, Carol, and also his son, Mike, and they tell me this past year, well, it's been unimaginable. I do think of them every day, and I think about what happened, and I definitely can feel the permanent scar. It's a loss still so raw. Who would ever think you'd go to your job and not come home? The memories of a husband and a father are sitting on the family's Zionsville porch. Steve Weiser was a veteran, a family man, a whiz at trivial pursuit. Theory of relativity, who in the, their right mind would read that for fun, but he did. The 74-year-old's goofy sense of humor oh, still favorite. makes his family <laughs> laugh. You say things backwards, I guess, as, uh, as my mom would word it. Um, kind of take like synonym meanings to names and uh, put them in place of the actual names. Like, this is something ridiculous. Like, Pink Floyd was Red Fred. Carol also remembers her husband's love for music. He played guitar and banjo. Their love story, well, it started in college. I was on my way to class and I saw this really handsome looking gentleman sitting there and I said to him, You know, pardon me, do you know where I can find a newspaper? And he jumped up, you know, he just jumped up. It, it was kind of ridiculous because there was a newspaper machine not too far away, but I was, you know, that was just my way of meeting him. It was love over a newspaper. This past November, Carol and Steve would have celebrated 50 years of marriage. I figured, you know, he would probably outlive me, but um, it, you would never, you would never ever think anything like this would happen. The two spent hours volunteering, whether at Connor Prairie or the Salvation Army. A year later, his wife, kids, and family continue giving back to the community in Steve's honor. I feel like he's probably looking down on us from somewhere. Now, Mark, I asked the Weisserts what we could all do in Steve's honor, and they said to try to go out and volunteer. That's something that they've continued on in his honor. It's something that he used to do quite often.